let me get your assessment as to uh, how much um, more damage this industry can take. I mean, are you getting the kind of help you need from uh, from governments, or are you not there yet? Yes, we are. Uh, in most of the countries where we operate, there are some unemployment funds that are available for us. Uh, that exist in France, in Germany, in Italy, in Spain. It's appearing in uh, some Eastern European countries. Uh, so we are really having help from the governments to help us overcome that situation. And uh, how about coming out on the other side, Jacques? Are you going to end up, when you come out of this, having lost so much revenue, so much income, um, you know, uh, carrying a lot more debt than you did when you went into it? That is probably too early to um, put a number of what you said. It's clear that uh, uh, the uh, few next weeks uh, will be uh, not that easy, uh, but it's very, very difficult to, to, uh, to make a, a figures, and uh, we'll do it and make it official as soon as we can uh, uh, put numbers. But it's clear that the few next week will be difficult, will be difficult in Europe, will be difficult in North America, will be difficult in South America. Uh, and the whole, whole problem is, when do we start again? And we need to be prepared to start again. And there are lots of indications that some of our customers want to start again before the end of this month, maybe around the 20th of April. And we must be ready and will be ready with a protocol uh, in our plants in order that we take care of the health of our people. So all will depend you, on at what speed and when our customers can restart. Do, does the industry, I mean, do, do, do they need to restart production right now? I mean, are we, are we seeing dealerships that um, have no more supply? Is there any demand out there, Jacques? Uh, that, that's a good question. Uh, but uh, when we look at and when we have the feedback from our customers, it looks like there is some demand uh, in the market. Uh, how big is the demand? I don't know, and uh, probably too early to know. But uh, like I said, uh, we feel from our customers a very strong uh, desire and necessity to restart as quick as possible. That means that they have a, a residual demand, an existing demand into the market. And, and we have Do to prepare you ourselves. You know, issues? there is confinement in most of the European countries. And uh, you have seen that uh, most European countries, most uh, governments, are really now thinking of the speed at which uh, the confinement will be over. And uh, that means that yeah. the economy has to restart. Exactly. And what kind of recovery? I mean, and on the other side, obviously, if I didn't buy coffees um, every day last month, I'm not going to buy 30 coffees when I'm allowed out again. But if I needed a car, I still need a car. Uh, so you've got to have some pent up demand there. What does the supply chain look like in Asia, Jacques? Are you getting all the parts that you need? Does the supply chain uh, in Asia look like it's starting to function smoothly again? That is quite um, interesting what has happened in China. Uh, we, uh, you, you know that uh, because of the uh, uh, New Year, Chinese New Year, everything stopped on the 20th of January. Uh, we have started to start again our factories uh, on the 10th of February outside the Hubei province at a low level to start with. And we have started all our plants, the 34 plants we have in China, uh, including the one in Wuhan, mid of March. So that means uh, two months after the beginning of the, uh, of the uh, coronavirus in the Hubei province. Now all our 34 plants are working normally. Uh, we are getting the supply chain in China for the Chinese operation 100%. And we are getting the supply chain just before it stopped in Europe very well. So as a matter of fact, the supply chain has been incredibly resilient. The question would be, uh, when we start in Europe, how we can be sure that the supply chain from Europe to Europe will start again. And what the experience we have got in China is we have to start to know uh, how, how quickly the supply chain can, uh, can work. And that's the reason why I said we have the impression our customers want to start sometimes mm -hmm before the end of this month, step by step, and uh, to make sure that the supply chain allow us to restart.